Hi, today I'm going to show you a portable solar power unit that I've been working on for a while. Um, I had the idea to make this after doing some local volunteer work where power wasn't always available but it was needed, um, especially for charging things like phones and uh, radios and other small gadgets like Wi-Fi points and things like that. Um, so let's take a closer look at what's inside here and what it's made of. Now you might be looking at this thing and thinking, that doesn't look so portable. Well, when I say portable, I mean portable in the sense that if there's an emergency, you could easily put this on the back of a truck or in a small van and transport it to a location. Um, now the reason why I've made it so large, it could be made smaller, it could be made a lot smaller. The reason why I've made it so large is because I wanted to make it strong enough and big enough to be able to hold extra batteries um, inside and also to have extra panels attached either like this for example or even at the sides. Um, so I've made it a little bit oversized and a little bit stronger than it needs to be uh, purposely so that I can always grow on this and make it larger and more powerful. Now this unit has been in play for about a year now. Um, it's been through wind, rain, um, you know, it's been through quite a lot, even kids riding their bikes into it, and it's still as good as uh, since day one, basically. There's a little bit of wear and tear on the paintwork, um, and the woodwork has expanded and contracted a little bit, but basically it's just as good as since day one. Now this is an 80 watt polycrystalline solar panel, it's from CDR King. If you look through my previous videos you'll see that I actually did a review on this uh, specific solar panel and it got a big thumbs up and it still gets a big thumbs up. It's still operating at over 80 watts so I'm very happy with this panel. Now you may have noticed this bit of wood coming off here. This is a handle and there's one on either side. That means that you can get two people, one on either side, lift it up and you can easily transport this. Um, actually with the way it's configured right now, I can actually carry it just by myself by stretching my arms either side. So it's really not that heavy. Um, with two people it's super easy, if one person is still possible. The next thing you're going to notice is the arms on the side. Now there's one either side. Um, all I did to attach these was drill through the solar panel um, and then through my arm here I put a bolt which connects it to the panel and then I've drilled about every inch or so and that allows me to basically use a screw to push it through the hole on the arm and through the hole on the box and adjust the angle. So if I put it into this one You can see that's now locked into place and um, that's secure. Do it on each side and it's going to be a better, you know, more secure fit and a stronger fit. Um, and that allows you to basically change the angle through the year or depending on the exact location where you're using this. Now the panel can of course go straight up like this or it can also fold down completely flat which makes it easier to transport. You don't have to worry about uh, the panel getting knocked if it's at an angle, you can just lay it flat like this. Now here you'll see the wires coming from the solar panel. They go through the top of the box and um, there's some sealant around there to make sure no water goes in. Um, although because of the panel being over like this, you don't really get any water on here so it's not really a concern. You also see a bunch of drilled holes here. Um, inside I have an exhaust fan which takes the hot air and the battery gases and exhausts them out. You can see this is blue because this whole box was previously painted blue uh, but then I painted it a more neutral colour. Now under this panel here I have the switch for the inverter which is on the inside which I'm going to show you later. Basically just toggles it on or off and I've also got two terminals here which go straight to the battery. Um, these are actually just regular bolts with wires attached on the inside um, and that allows me to easily charge the battery without having to open up the box for instance if I want to use an external AC charger. Um, it also allows me to check the voltage easily. On the side here you'll see there's a power socket, an AC output socket, uh, you'll see it's labelled 100 watt max because inside the box I'm using a 100 watt inverter. There is a dedicated on and off switch, there's also the toggle switch on the top for the inverter that I showed you earlier. That is a waterproof case so 100% safe. Under this one which is also waterproof I have a USB hub and that's powered by a DC to DC converter up to 3 amps on the inside so that's taking the 12 volt down to 5 volts. 
and here I have a watt meter so here you can see the watt meter display um, it tells you what the voltage of the battery is how much power is going in how much power is going out how much you've used that kind of thing now I didn't do a great job of uh, putting the filler around there but you know it works and it gives me a good idea of what's going on inside the box talking about inside the box let's take a look now the first thing you'll notice when you look in here is this 40 amp hour motor light battery now this is a deep cycle battery made specifically for the charge and discharge cycles that are associated with solar power just using a normal car battery wouldn't be very good above the battery I have this positive and negative terminal now these are wired directly to the battery and just give me an easy way to connect uh, any external devices that I want to connect directly to the battery currently I'm not using those but it's useful to have them there just in case now if you follow these green wires up you'll see that they go over there and basically they're going to those two bolts on top that I showed you earlier which allows for external charging and external voltage check you'll notice the fan here at the top this is the exhaust fan now this is wired directly to the solar panel so it will only come on when the sun is actually hitting the solar panel and the battery is putting off charging gases and the box is actually heating up otherwise it doesn't run You'll also notice this strip of lights here. That's just some uh, in-cabinet lighting so that I can easily work on this, even if it's dark outside. Now that lighting is actually controllable from this little control box I made here. Now this is actually a little um, electrical box that's usually used in the house. I just added these toggle switches and did some wiring so you can see I can turn the lights off, on, nice and simple because I don't always want them running since it would be a waste of power now these two black wires here these are coming from the solar panel and they go straight into the charge controller here now this charge controller is a 10 amp charge controller from CDR King it's just a generic one it's very basic but it does the job now the charge controller doesn't go directly to the battery it's actually coming over here to the watt meter which is measuring our power usage voltage etc and then the watt meter comes over to the battery and you'll see that I've just got these clips here to connect straight to the battery now here I have a DC to DC converter this is taking the 12 volts from the battery converting it to 5 volt USB and it can handle up to 3 amp so you'll see it's got these regular USB outputs here and that's what the hub is plugged into that I showed you on the outside earlier and finally you'll see this 100 watt inverter from CDR King um, this is quite a small inverter but 100 watts is big enough for what I have in mind I just made this basic um, metal uh, mount from a GI sheet that I've just bent to shape you'll see that plugged into the inverter is just a normal two pin plug and that basically goes out through the box into that um, AC socket that I showed you earlier now that was a little bit tricky because those sockets normally expect solid core wire um, but I managed to find a way to make it all work so that's basically the inside of the cabinet um, I know it does look maybe a little bit messy with wires but it's actually all pretty well kept I think um, if you do have any suggestions about how you would improve this maybe how you'd make it neater just let me know in the comments um, but for me everything's quite easy to see um, and of course everything's labeled so you can see from battery from charge controller um, up here 5 volt 3 amp USB down here 100 watt inverter um, and of course all the switches are labeled I've tried to make sure that everything is labeled and that everything is as neatly wide as possible um, but I guess there probably is still room for improvement so that pretty much sums up this project um, you know your main output power is going to be from this socket here which you could of course plug a um, extension lead into and split into multiple sockets and your USB sockets here um, lots of extra space inside and w enough wooden support to actually uh, take extra batteries if you want to increase the capacity of the batteries and the frame is strong enough to support extra panels mounted at the side or at the front so there's lots of room for this to grow um, now this really is perfect for those um, emergencies like when typhoons hit um, things like that where 
the emergency crews need power, um, but they might not have a generator, for example, or for whatever reason they can't run a generator. Um, they put this on the back of a truck or a van, take it to the location, and boom, they're up and running with power straight away. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas on how this could be improved, um, just put it in the comments below. If, for instance, you think there should be another type of power output or some improvements to the wiring, or uh, maybe a change in the way that the solar panel is mounted or anything really, just let me know and uh, I'd really appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.